Since the elections are coming up on June 3rd, I, I decided to be a little holier and read a couple of scripture, you know, get a little brownie points, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, sometimes we got to do that. Um, but this is my uh, little black journal. Uh, this is when God talks to me. I, I write things down. And just two of personal scriptures for me that God has. They're my life scriptures. I think they might be on my tombstone on something. But um, Proverbs 25, 28 says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. And that's something I strive for every day is to be a man with self-control. And another one from Proverbs 24, verses 3 through 4 says, By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Um, and I decided to start with this because uh, the heart for last night's prayer is this. And um, a couple years ago, as I was praying, God said, Bruno, is your relationship with me like the relationship of one of your favorite books, How to Kill a Mockingbird? It's on your shelf, it's dusty, and you only take me out once in a while to read me. And for that moment, you get emotional. But then you close it up, and you put it back on the shelf, and that's all I am, a dusty book that once in a while, you get emotional while reading. I don't want to be a normal Christian. I'm sorry. I, I, might, I hope I'm not offending anyone, but I just can't come to church on Sunday and that be it. So the heart behind last night is... There has to be more. There has to be more. His word is full of that more. And I know that last night there were people who got touched. There were people that God spoke to. There were people that God broke things in their lives. And you know all we did was what? Show up and worship. So you have to understand, for me, the desire of my heart is not to, is just to spend time with the King of Kings, to be in His presence, to see Him manifest tangibly. I don't want to have a testimony of 15 years ago, I think I heard from Jesus. That's like the book, How to Kill a Mockingbird, in my shelf. I go to it every couple of years, and I love that book, and and I read and I get emotional. But I want my life to be a testimony every day. And the other part of um, what God spoke to me was this. If I become just that book that you pick up once in a while, then you'll never truly know what it is to have the relationship with God, your Father. If I'm truly your God, then you would absolutely want to spend every moment with me. So how about it, son? And the reason why I read this is one thing, and this is not to... I'm not a shame-based culture. I'm just reading. I'm being vulnerable. I'm telling you about me and my struggles and what God spoke to me. Um, I believe that the biggest revival is yet to come. I truly do. But when we just come here on Sundays and we put a smile on and everything around us is falling apart, I can't be that kind of person. That's me. There is more. There is more. And the reason why we're here today for testimonies is because we need to hear what God is doing in our midst. And last night was just a small taste of what he has for us. And all we did was we came to worship. That's it. And he showed up. And he showed up. Um, 
So if I am offending anybody, I, I apologize, but at the same time, I don't, because I truly feel that God is calling myself and several others to say, wake up. Wake up, O sleeper. There's so much more. There's so much more God wants to do in your life. And all he's asking you is, can you take that first step? Do you trust me? Do you believe me that I will be with you? That I will go before you? So I'm just going to ask Jen if, uh, just to kind of share what she saw last night or just kind of her heart as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I have. Sorry if I'm a Debbie Downer, you know. God, get the mic away from him. Every time he talks, I feel bad, you know. But that's okay. Um, once again, that's, that's all good. So, Jennifer. Um, I think what God is like speaking truly to our hearts, especially like as a couple, is to um, not be content with where we are with the Lord. It just, you know, seek for more. And there's that verse, you know, like, um, ask and you shall receive and knock and the door will be open to you. And so I told Bruno, I was like, I'm going to keep on knocking until God shows up. And, and the heart behind yesterday was that, you know, for those who were here, I think he got to the point where everyone was just sobbing because God spoke to personal issues in, for every single one of us. Um, and it wasn't a big group of people. I would say maybe 30, 30 to 40 people uh, total. And, uh, you know, just, just, but just the heart of those who were like, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to see what God is going to do. And, and he did. And he showed up, and he talked to a lot of us, and he um, he worked through the band, you know, like like I was saying, like Alex was called on Saturday, no, on Friday afternoon to be like, hey, can you play on Saturday? And and he said yes, and that's what God is looking for, you know, like I listened to a song yesterday, and, and the lyrics said that sometimes my um, biggest uh, effort is my still my weakest yes but that's what he wants he wants the yes and everything else he'll do like he'll, he'll move mountains when we can't do it um, so I believe that 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 will be that was the first of many worship nights that will be held at this church so we can seek the Lord together and I encourage you guys like if you want to hear more about it you know if for those who were here last night like can you guys raise your hand please there you go so if you guys want to hear a little bit more about it, go ahead and ask them. Okay. She wasn't here last night, but she wants to talk. <laughs> so, you know, like, ask these people. Ask what God did. Uh, because I, Bruno and I are true believers. If, if you're, the latest testimony that you have from the Lord a year ago, it's a year old, you better check your relationship with God. Because he's always moving. So your testimonies should be like a constant thing for you. Um, so I, I do. I believe that there's a revival coming in the life of the church. Um, I believe that, you know, God's presence is going to be even more tangible than ever. But all we have to do is say yes. Amen.